The Sooners may have succumbed to the luck of the Irish last week in Norman. The statistics were on Oklahoma's side on Saturday morning. That's because the Sooners were 19-0 following a regular season loss since 2004 and had won 20 straight times here in Ames, Iowa. It had been 52 years to be exact since OU had fallen in Ames. Bob Stoops certainly wanted no part of breaking that streak. He had never lost to the Cyclones as a Sooners coach, having won all seven times. Sooners didn't exactly spin out of the gate, though, going scoreless in the first quarter, although they did move the ball down the field. Second quarter, OU finally crossed the goal line when Landry Jones found Sterling Shepard in the far side of the end zone for the 20-yard touchdown pass. 7-0 with 10 minutes left in the half. Shepard had a pretty good day, catching five passes for 77 yards on the score. Then the Sooners ran into some trouble when Landry Jones was picked off on two straight drives. This one was not a great throw as Darrell Gibbons had ample time to camp under it and subsequently took it back 47 yards all the way to the OU 15. Sooners defense buckled down both times and forced the Cyclones to kick field goals. So as Oklahoma got the ball back with only one minute and four seconds left in the half, it looked like we'd go to the break at 7-6. OU drove 75 yards in only four plays, got into the end zone only 14 seconds before the break, and Landry Jones connected with Kenny Stills for the 21-yard touchdown. So 14-6 at the break, Landry Jones had passed for 239 yards at the half. Third quarter, the Sooners kept that momentum going, driving 75 yards once again, but this time using up 6 minutes 8 seconds in the process. Landry Jones found splendid senior Justin Brown for the 20-yard touchdown. That just about ends up in your living room. Great concentration by Brown holding on to the tip ball. 21-6 Sooners. Brown tore it up once again, catching seven passes for 107 yards, both career highs. And how about Brennan Clay? With Damian Williams hobbled by a bad ankle and Dominique Whaley struggling, the 5'11", 200-pound junior steps in and runs the ball 24 times for 157 yards, both career highs, including this 18-yard touchdown scamper with two minutes, four seconds remaining in the third. It was the first start of the season for the third and perhaps lesser-known member of the Cali Trio, safety Tony Jefferson. And just coincidentally, the other guy, this guy, Kenny Stills, who saves you from taking a Landry Jones pass to the face on this pretty 31-yard touchdown pass with 11 minutes remaining. Stills had six catches from 92 yards and two scores. Landry Jones had a heck of a day, completing 32 of 45 passes for 405 yards and four touchdowns with the two interceptions. Sooners win at 35-20. Bob Stoops gets his 145th win, tying him for second in Oklahoma history with a guy named... Bud Wilkinson. OU's offense puts up 593 total yards, while the defense keeps the Cyclones to 290 yards of total offense. Well, we've been fortunate. I don't, you know, there's nothing in particular other than, um, you know, it's it's just a process of winning. It's not like we change it uh, when you win a big game or when you lose one. It's it's you you continue to do the same things you you, you do through the week to give yourself a chance to win. And I do believe some teams are more, more mature and get it, meaning uh, we still have an opportunity to compete this week. What are we going to do with it? You know, and they don't, there aren't that many of them. And, and so, you know, take advantage of it and try and keep improving the season the best you can. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a long season. And um, there's still some games in, ahead of us that, um, that we might have a chance to play for, you know. And so... Uh, our mindset and our mentality isn't that the season's over. Yes, we, we have two loss and maybe the national championship's out of our grasp, but you never know in college football. You never know what's going to happen, you know. So we want to put ourselves in position if we have a chance at the end of the year, and um, we want to be in the best position possible for sure. This is a part of the game. You know, there's great backs that come to this university. And, uh, you know, I've just been fortunate enough, you know, to be able to play my turn. And, uh, you know, I came out this game, you know, prepared all week, and I knew Damian was out, so I knew how to step up. And, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to do so. I think it just shows what, you know, everything he's been doing. He's been working his tail off, like I said, on and off the field, just to be a good person and to practice hard and to lead the team. And, um, you know, he deserves something like this today, so I'm happy for him. Uh, last week, you know, we took a devastating loss against a good team. And uh, it's good to, you know, have our teammates, you know, uh, come in and we play really well after a loss like that and uh, 
offense put up some points on the board, and you know that's always good for for defense. You know, this is an important game coming into an environment like this. Coach been telling us it's kind of hard to uh, win in you know Iowa State, and they be playing pretty good all year despite their record. So uh, we knew it was gonna be a tough physical game, and you know coming off a loss, we just wanted to you know get back into our championship mode, and you know just really just keep fighting and you know keep winning for each other, and you know just try to get another W for the team. So the Sooners get some sun and a win here on a beautiful day in Ames, Iowa. And perhaps things are looking up for Oklahoma, which is exactly where the Sooners' point total should be next week, way up. That's because the team went no defense. The Baylor Bears come to town on Saturday. According from Jack Trice Stadium in Ames, Iowa, Damon Fontenot, News OK Sports.